seem to be my favorite apple. Do you like apples? Well, you wouldn't enjoy them or eat them if you didn't have a digestive system. So, it is so important to have one. So, let me show you why. You need a digestive system. It's the most important system because it fuels all other systems. Without it, nothing else functions. If you didn't have a digestive system, basically you would die. Because we need to eat and get energy from the food we eat. So you can do fun activities like this. First, let me show you all the organs that are in the digestive system. Beginning with the mouth. The teeth chew up the food to start the breakdown process. The salivary glands also release secretions to aid in the breakdown and propel food down to the esophagus which is a thin walled muscular channel that leads to the stomach. In the stomach it ain't it, it ch in the stomach it chomps the food combining it with gastric juices which are an acid that further breaks down the food. The liver makes the liver makes bile to assist with the digestion the pain with the digestion the pancreas breaks down the proteins lipids carbohydrates and nucleic acids in foods then we are on to the small intestines right in the middle which absorbs 90% of the nutrients from the food we eat and a fun fact about this organ in the digestive system is that it is around 20 feet in length. Wow! That is almost as long as a tractor trailer. And it's all in here. Wow! The digestive system is really cool and important. The final trip of the digestive tract is into the large intestines, right around the small intestine. It absorbs the water to harden the food. <laughs> Don't pause it. It hardens. It absorbs the water to harden the food waste product. I'm talk to you guys about the awesome organs involved in the digestive system. Let me show you how all these organs parts come together as a team and make our body run. It's really fun stuff. It's really fun stuff. So this is the working of the digestive system, and this is the whole entire body from top to bottom, and these are the parts that are in your body that are involved in the digestive system. It's the mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, pancreas, large intestines, and small intestines, and there's a rectum and uranus. It first starts with you eating your food and crunching it up with your teeth so it can grind up the food so you don't swallow it whole. And you can see here it just smashed it up and the tongue is forcing it back into its throat. And at here when it's coming down, it, this little part closes so the food doesn't go into the trachea where the air is supposed to go, it goes down the esophagus. So it's going down the esophagus right now, and it is going to go down into the stomach, which is filled with acids that crunches up the food, and it makes it easier to like break down the food and stuff. So you can hear it comes apart right there, and this is called shine. And then this is the beginning of the large intestines, the duodenum. I mean, this it's the beginning of the small intestines. It's the beginning of the small intestines, which is called the duodenum. And this is the small intestines. So it is going through these really small ones right here. It's going. This is um, some parts of the duodenum and the ileum. Ileum. 
And these are the other parts like the liver, the increase, and the duodenum, which is part of the small intestines. And then this is where all the nutrients, the red blood cells are like, yummy, yummy, I get nutrients, like carrots. Nutrients is a lot of carrots. Carrots have a lot of nutrients. And this is going into the large intestines, all the colon. So it, it kind of like surrounds the small intestines. And these are some good facts about the large intestines. And here it is almost down to the rectum and your and your anus. And this is the full video of the digestion action that's going on in your body every single day when you eat food. And that's the video. A disease that has to do with the digestive system is also to colitis which is an ongoing disease that affects the colon and rectum. The inner lining of the large intestine becomes inflamed and ulcers could form on the surface. The system symptom of the disease are blood, abdominal, abdominal pain, also known as discomfort, fever, weight loss, reduced appetite, diarrhea, fatigue, and tinnitus. You can diagnose with colonoscopy which is a camera that goes up your rectum and looks into your colon. And that's how you can see if you have ulcerative colitis. Some possible treatment treatments that you could acquire are medicines that your doctor tell you to get or to get surgery. And then the four types of ulcerative colitis and associated symptoms are the ulcerative proctosis, and that's the disease in your rectum. The proctosimus is a, um, the disease in the sigmoid colon. The lessae colitis, which is in the descending colon. And the pain, pain ulcerative colitis, which is in the transverse colon and the ascending colon. And then we have the potential complications of UC, which are all like the, all the diseases and stuff. Yeah. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you learned a lot about the digestive system, like the organs that are included in it, um, the diseases, and etc. So, we definitely need the digestive system in our body to survive.